Welcome to the Wednesday, November 20th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Moark Eggs. Today's show features a notable shift in Vietnamese Pangasius exports away from a major market. And later on, U.S. frozen turkey stocks continue to dwindle as Thanksgiving approaches. But first, with details of a major fast food hamburger chain's expansion into a new overseas market, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Burger King Worldwide has entered into a new joint venture to expand its market in India. Miami-based hamburger chain said on Tuesday that it struck a deal with Asian equity firm Everstone Group to develop restaurants in India. A Burger King spokesman said the company hasn't yet decided how many stores it will open there or whether it will offer its signature Whopper or other beef burgers at its Indian locations. Subscribers can follow up with Burger King's expansion plans along with other fast food restaurant trends by logging on to foodmarket.com. Next up in our program is Seafood.com news staff writer Michael Ramsing reporting on noteworthy movement in Vietnamese Pangasius shipments away from a major market. Vietnam shipped more Pangasius fillets to the U.S. over the EU market for the first time ever in June. While the EU traditionally is the top market for frozen Vietnamese Pangasius fillets, the market has been plagued by generally poor economic performance, an abundance of low quality product, and more favorable U.S. price points for exporters. Since 2010, these factors have propelled the U.S. market share upwards, while European importers have pulled back. Through August of 2013, European Pangasius imports are down over 31% compared with 2010. 10 levels. Conversely, the U.S. has seen its imports reach all-time record levels 269 million pounds, over 140 percent higher compared to 2010 volumes. And while the European share of Pangasius imports still outweighs that of the U.S., the gap continues to close. In June, the U.S. market imported 2 million more pounds of frozen fillets versus its EU counterpart. This is the first time U.S. monthly imports surpassed European shipments from Vietnam. Subscribers can read a more in-depth breakdown of the U.S.-EU Pangasius market, along with other daily seafood market news and notes at www.seafoodnews.com. Thanks, Michael. In other news, with Thanksgiving just over a week away, retailers continue to siphon frozen turkeys from the country's cold storage warehouses. Here to wrap up today's show with more details is Ernerberry Poultry Market reporter Terrence Wells. Frozen turkey supplies have continued to dwindle in the U.S. as retailers take advantage of an extra week in November to push retail turkey features. Ernerberry New Newswire's Kurt Thacker reports a near 5.5 percent decline in frozen turkey stocks in the latest week's inventories compared with levels a year ago. The reduction furthers a two and a half month long declining trend in supplies. This year's Thanksgiving holiday is a week later compared with 2012, giving retailers an extra week to promote turkey and pull supplies from cold storage warehouses. Subscribers can read more Thanksgiving turkey market news by clicking the news link under the poultry tab. Thanks Terrence. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.